Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this. I don't know if it's a scan, it's a JPEG, and I don't know if it's a scan or they traced it with a, a Sharpie. It's a four by four wheel drive. And you can see they've got some, looks like a they traced it and then scanned it. So first thing you need to do in a case like this, and I don't know if I'm gonna be that much help, I've done it. It needs a little bit more work on it yet, but without having the real emblem with me, it's kind of hard to tell which is what. But what I would do is select your item and then go to the crop tool and crop that out. So now you're only going to trace a little bit instead of that whole big window. And then I'm going to go to trace bitmap. Yours might be under bitmap. And we can resample it. It's at 300 because it's so small. And go to bitmap. Outline trace it. I'm going to use line art. Don't ever hard to use it, but since this is line art, did it that fast. We'll take the new one. We'll put it down here, and you can always tell that here's the bitmap and or the picture, and here's the new one because it doesn't have any background. So we need to keep that original so we can kind of look at it. And I am going to immediately put a rectangle around it. I'm still using somebody's file from the other day that has a feel. And I can already see that there's a bunch of gaps, so it's not going to trace or it's not going to fill in anyway. But let's take the uh, let's take the item and ungroup it. Go to group, group, and ungroup. And then we're just going to take the shape tool and we're going to try our best to move these objects where they where they'll be joined together and they won't leak. Um, this is where I think if you would have scanned it, it would have been better. Um, other than, um, you know, trying to take a Sharpie looks like you can actually select those two and right click and hit line. And it'll get rid of that out. We are trying to get anything that uh, doesn't look good on that. Like that there's terrible. So we can delete all those, probably delete that. We're gonna have to work on this thing quite a bit so we can just move this up. We're just trying to close some gaps. Um, see if I can see any more. Don't really see any more. And, and the reason I use the rectangle tool for, is when this leaks, it's gonna leak just into the rectangle and not into the rest of the your graphic and, and Sometimes make Corel crash. There's there's another leak. And just try to do your best to join. I think that might be all of them. And then just take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Voila, we have it. <clears throat> I would still keep your original, but we're going to use the original original instead of this one because we've you know we changed it up a little bit. We don't need our rectangle anymore. Now we can left click, right click, and what we have is a good outline. Now without having the actual emblem, I don't know what is supposed to be a rounded corner or, but you can see all these nodes. So first of all, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try to select them all and go up to this and remove, uh, reduce them by 25%. And I don't like the way that looks. So we'll just put it back. All we need to do really now is get rid of some of these major node collision areas or whatever you want to call them. It's where there's just way too many nodes. Take out some middle nodes. Um, you know, try not to do too much, but just get rid of some of these middle nodes right off the bat. Uh, you'll see a collection of nodes like right there. Just delete. Until you really see it change the shape like that, you can keep deleting. We're actually going to take and go ahead and use that. Now, like I said, without having the, the original uh, picture, and I almost think taking a picture of this thing would be better than um, seeing that move quite a bit. I don't like that. So let's just try to get rid of some of these lesser nodes and 
See, like right here, there's just way too many nodes. As long as it doesn't change the outlook, and I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but I'm going to I'm going to show in a couple of ideas, I guess, in trying to help him to clean this up. Because some of these are going to be lines, and some of them are going to be, you know, a little bit of a curvature to it. And without having the original one in front of me, I don't know what is what. You're like, is this going to be a, a sharp turn? Or is that going to be a, a gradual turn like it kind of looks? And let me go just a few more. All I'm doing is taking away nodes that I know pretty much aren't going to be needed. And as long as it doesn't change the shape, you're a lot better off. Now, what I said earlier about because I don't know, I really don't know, you know, like, is this supposed to be a rounded corner or is this a sharp corner? It's still a rounded corner, so we can take away those nodes. We've almost got rid of all of them. And all I'm doing is taking the shape tool and selecting them, and you can kind of see it. Now, if we think that, like, this is supposed to be a straight line, you know, we could take our shape tool, select that node, hold your shift key, do, key down, select that node, and then right click and turn that into a line. Now it kind of messed up this. And without seeing the original, I'm almost think we're gonna get rid of this node and then bring this back up to where it was. And then you kind of play around. And what I said about keeping the original earlier, you can always, we'll make that black and we'll bring in our original and you'll be able to see a lot more. Let me set our nudge factor on something pretty low. 0 0.001 and move that around. We're pretty close, but then you'll be able to see things like, you know, this evidently is supposed to be a sharp line. Well, there's not a node there anymore, so let's add a node. We could bring these two lines up, and this is actually kind of like a sharp node. So maybe we can select both those and turn them into a line. And you can see it gave us that sharp turn versus this is probably a gradual turn. Let's get rid of that node. And put that node right there. Now we're gonna we're gonna grab. Let's get rid of this node. Bring that up a little bit. Let's grab both those nodes and right click, turn them into a line. And let's go ahead and tell you what. Let's go ahead and take both those nodes and turn them. Well, that got rid of that node because you can actually make this node even if it's a line. Right click, turn it into a line. See how that should be a maybe more of a rounded corner than it is. Uh, if we put it about where it's supposed to be, we can actually select it and go to Windows, Dockers, Corners, and see if we can't minutely put a little curve on that corner. See that little minute little curve and we could go a little bit more, go 0.3. We'll actually have to back up and let's go 0.3. See, I gave it a little bit of even turn, even stroke. If you did that on all your corners like that, it looks like that needs to be uh, a square corner. And, you know, like here we have that extra node we don't need anymore. And we'll we'll put that about middle of the line, and we'll give this a little bit of a, that curve. Um, that's a pretty good way to do things like that. Now, like, that might be a sharp line. And then you just need to go around and kind of match it back up to the original. I would probably change all my lines to lines, and then we can deal with this in a minute, but we can give this one that little sharp turn and see it added a node, but we gave it a little bit of a turn there. We're actually a little bit out of position. And I haven't even started using the smoothing tool yet. And a lot of that times you can just delete nodes. And I'm by far no expert on 
this item. Now, these kind of have a unique turn in itself, so you could grab both of them, take a right click and turn them into a curve, and then kind of move them, grab the middle, and just give a little bit of a turn, and then you could still adjust your your curve. I don't like this uh, way this is turning out, but that doesn't look half bad. And it all depends on how close this has to be. And, you know, there's another thing you could do if you're trying to make it perfect before you do anything. You could take, select both those nodes and go up to a line and align them horizontally. That'll put those two neural nodes even on the kill. But that's saying that your logo is flat across. So I don't know if this is going to help him or not. But that's how I would do it. I would actually try to find a, a, a clip art of this graphic kind of maybe to start with. Or I actually think you traced it, then you scanned it. I think if you put it in the scanning machine without tracing it with a marker, because this is definitely what it is, or I would think it would have to be, um, just try, try scanning it or try and take a photograph of it. And if, for the one I'm doing it for, if you still have that emblem, if you'll send me a photograph of this, pretty dead on, straight on top of it, I mean, not at an angle, uh, I think I can do it, help you a lot more. But that doesn't look half bad for just a few minutes. And if you fill it in with black and take away the outline, we can, we can see the mistakes when it's more black. Like that definitely, we didn't change this, but that definitely needs to go up there. Probably take out these two nodes and see what happens. You can see a lot more when it's black and what it's really gonna look like. But you can see, now I know, you can see that these W, this W and the, these lines should probably all be on the same kill. So if you align them horizontally, it'll bring those up because you want them at least even. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.